What advice would you give somebody starting judo to be successful? So now, uh, <clears throat> with the experience, I would say stay focused uh, on your technique. Just be sure that all your technique is perfect. Take time to learn all the technique the right way. When you have that, is your weapon. Is is when you have the, the right technique with you, uh, then you can start to build uh, your game, build your having game, yeah. strategy and stuff. Like that. The problem is sometimes we build strategy before to know the technique. That's a little bit what I did when I was young. Uh, I was trying to win by using the rules, and I was winning sometimes. Maybe it would have been better be, better to lose trying to make my technique better. Why are you gonna do something like uh, approximative, you know, and to win? Try to do the right thing. You lose and try again, and you lose. And you try again, and maybe then you're gonna win, mm. but you're gonna win with the right technique. So when I talk to the people, the young people, I say, focus on your technique. Because when I watch the best judo player, the best, when I speak about the best, I was a, a, I was a good, I was a good judo player. I'm not uh, uh, one of those best judo players, the guy that you, you even now, I, I still watch at the Olympics, some guy, you know, like Ono, the Japanese guy, mm. it's just, it's, it's like we can't compare to those guys. They're like amazing. But those guys, their technique is perfect. When you see those guys, the guy who make you dream when you watch them, their technique is perfect. So my advice is focus on your technique. Focus on your technique. Then when you have all that, you can think about uh, winning with strategy and stuff like that. But don't put the strategy first. Thoughts on jiu-jitsu for beginners? Same. Any sport, to me, is, is the key for everything. Be good on what you do, and technique, then fundamentals, fundamental. When you have get that, your base strong. Of course, after that, you build your strategy, and then you start to play with the rules because the rules one day they are like that, and then uh, another day is different. Mm. So your game change. Look mm. at judo. The judo they practice today is not the judo I was doing. You can't even touch the legs. So. Be strong on the fundamental, and then from there, build the game depending on the rules. Yeah. What do you think? 100%. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Same thing. Get your foundation, get of your course, base strong. Of course. And then from that, you can you can build your house. Yeah, I'm sure that you would have asked me this question uh, 20 years ago, 25 years ago when I was young, or 30 years ago. I would rather uh, the most important is the win. Mm. Because I, I remember answering that. Because one day I was watching a video, an old video. I, I have to, 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 to I, I trash it. I didn't even keep it. Mm -hmm. I said, I can't keep that. Because mm -hmm. my answer was like, I prefer to win just by penalty mm. than to lose trying, you know, to do uh, like doing some beautiful stuff. Mm -hmm. So I understand that when you compete at the Olympics or stuff like that, if in the final you have to use a strategy, yeah, but to reach the Olympic, to reach this final, the f final that I didn't reach, mm. if to reach this final, that's the fundamental that I needed. Mm -hmm. And uh, maybe that's what, the, the little thing we was missing between the, the seventh and the title, the, the gold medal was that being focused on the fundamental, then mm. put the strategy yeah. after. I guess the only thing I would add, I would add or, or, you know, say, um, would be just the environment, you know, like, uh, where I, wherever I go to, you know, feel them out and see how you feel going, you know, cause there's a lot of gyms and places, right. Where you feel the, you know, the, the most at home, the, the best at, for example, you talked about your coach, Mm. And your favorite time of your, you know, um, 34 year career was this time with that coach and that family. My, my, my coach. And, my and probably that's why you stayed with it for that, you know, that the, my, your whole my life. Pa, my partner, my, my friend, my, yeah. the, 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 the 
work together. It's like uh, it's, that's the most because important. of those connections, you're oh. able to go where you went. Of course, because uh, you feel the support also every day. Because when you compete, if we're honest, we try to impress the people. Because mm. there's no reason to compete. Mm. There's no reason to show the medal. What are we doing when we do that? We just try to show the people that uh, we win. Really, if I think about, uh, if you talk about now being champion, world champion, Olympic champion, really to me, in my mind, it wouldn't change too much. Yeah. But it would have changed a lot for my friend and my family. Because that's those people. When you do that, you want to impress the people. And those people behind you are the people supporting you. And they may be happier than you. You know, that's an accomplishment for them too. So uh, having all those people yeah, around friends, you. Friends well, and of family. Course, you they're wanna, so happy. You, they, fight for that. you fight for them uh, they to do good they for them. speak about it. And uh, well, that's, the, that's the superpower, right? Uh, of course. Like, uh, the 25, 30 years later, they still talk about... Uh, my tournament, I don't talk about it. I talk about it today because you asked me a question. I never talk about it. And I still talk about it with my friends. You know, those, those uh, my, my, they, they talk about it. Sometimes they say, hey, you know, we were talking about it because for them, that's something. So when we do a sport, it's more about, uh, when we compete in sport, it's more about impressing the people, you know, having the people uh, excited. Memories, yeah. Yes. It's, Creating it's, memories it's together. Then the title by itself uh, didn't change too much. I have it, but I don't have it. <laughs> it doesn't change anything. I don't speak about it. Even my 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 kids, you know, ask me, but because uh, I start to understand, I see videos, I see uh, review at home. I say, but it's kind. You're kind of famous, no? You're on the. I said, no, I'm not, I'm not famous. I was on the judo magazine. That was a long time ago. Mm. But for them, you know, it's like they're impressed about it. It's like uh, it's more about the people, what they think about you, you know, that yourself because. <laughs> not uh, some people maybe some some people maybe they have an ego like so crazy that maybe uh, they look at themselves like uh, maybe but I'm not like that. Well, Ferry, it's been uh, it's always great spending time with you. I'm so grateful I got to do my last five because of you in the south of France, you know, and the Palavas floats right, uh, <laughs> not right on the Mediterranean, you know, and uh, what a what a great memory for me to finish my MMA career, you know, after twenty fights, you know, and uh, always grateful.